Last couple days we saw mixed modes of storms, a pretty squall, and maybe some nice shots of lightning, nothing out of the ordinary. It's been an interesting year with that anomalous polar vortex and that virus lurking around out there. So far, I haven't visited any restaurants, no convenience stores, and no public restrooms. I've been packing my own lunches, but other than hotels, the only thing I'm having to touch are gas pumps and squeegees with a disposable nylon glove. On most chases, I've been sleeping in the car or driving home after the chase, but on these back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back chases, I think I'm gonna have to risk getting a hotel so that I can recharge my batteries, use the Wi-Fi, dump my footage, use the clean restrooms, dump my footage. And uh, I think that a dozen hotel restrooms are probably safer than one emergency truck stop ponder session. It's not all grim news. The channel just hit 500,000 subscribers and I'm especially stoked to have Santa Claus as one of my subscribers. Also, peace and joy be with you. Just subscribe to my channel. Isn't that wonderful? What a beautiful message in these dark times. And we also got a subscription from Nipple Dozer. Here's another one. Turd Sandwich has subscribed to me on YouTube. Which one is Turd Sandwich? Is it the woman or the man? Together, they're Turd Sandwich. And look how happy they are. Guys, there might be some deep philosophical wisdom in Turd Sandwich. I think there is. I think we all need to thank Turd Sandwich for coming into our lives. And finally, one of the top five greatest subscribers that I've ever had subscribed to my channel but but has subscribed to me on YouTube guys you know you're the when but but subscribes to your YouTube channel we've got some cells just starting to fire up so it might be time to go to work guys what do you say Could be a funnel cloud, that little nipple. If you look closely under this base, you might be able to make out concentrated rotation. And you might make the argument the whirling dust co-located underneath is a weak tornado. But a clear slot cutting into the base reveals this is a surging rear flank downdraft kicking up dust. It would be quite a stretch to call this a tornado. Again, a second clear slot appears as another RFD cuts into the base, and it looks like our storm is amped to drop a tornado. Under a weak funnel cloud, a nebulous tube of dust lifted. Brief spin up. You could argue this is a tornado, but it's hardly a violent rotating column of air. I don't recall ever seeing a May with such little tornado activity. On average, I usually see about 20 tornadoes per year, and so far this year I've got two. None of these folks are complaining, but if I can track down another 11 tornadoes this year, then I will have seen my 200th tornado, and I, I hope it's a good one. Back in 2015, I saw my 100th tornado. And it was a tiny 
saggy nipple far, far away and there's nothing really exciting about a tiny saggy nipple far, far away, unless you're nipple dozer, maybe. <laughs> The following day also brought an impressive supercell with serious tornado potential. Oh, this road ends. But limited and gated roads in the Texas Permian Basin sabotaged me from getting close. While backtracking, a brief weak tornado was reported and I completely missed it. That's a gnarly storm. Nasty, nasty doodle. That is looking like a funnel cloud, I don't know for sure. Eventually I found passage to a glorious high precipitation storm base and monitored a couple tiny soggy nipples. Castable tornado activity is looking pretty dismal over the next week, maybe even two weeks. So we might not hit our 200th tornado until next year. And with that, tiny saggy nipples far, far away are starting to sound more and more appealing each day.